family. Yes, that's a cringy opening. Sue me. Anyways, today on set, we're going to be talking about a popular but less recent franchise that is Lilo and Stitch. Now, obviously, Lilo isn't, and Stitch isn't the newest thing, but it's popular and hits close enough to home that I feel like it's more of an injustice to not talk about it. So without further ado, let's take a short trip to Hawaii. So Lexi, you, what do you know about the first movie? Because obviously we're talking about franchises here. There's going to be a couple of movies. So what do you know about the original one? So the original one, I know that there's like a creature named Stitch who his ship crashed on uh, planet Earth. Yeah. And um, he was, I guess, mistaken as like a dog or something. So he was brought to like an animal shelter. But he looks nothing like a dog, and um, this girl named Lilo, right, Lilo? Yeah. Yes, um, Lilo. She wanted a dog, and her older sister, what was her name again? Um, Nami. Nan. Or not? Or no? Nani? Nana. Nani. 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 I think it was Nani. Jeez. Um, she took her there, or was she just signing papers or something? Or well, the, yeah, they had to sign the adoption yeah. papers. Yeah. Um. And of course, Layla wanted the most odd looking pet, <laughs> Stitch, who's blue. He's and, also um, adorable. Like, I yeah. Um, it. I mean, so she adopted, I guess, Stitch, and they got, they bonded really well. And they became like a one big family. That is a very gross overview of the movie. Well, basically, they became a whole family, and it's really cute. Yeah, but like, you're kind of forgetting. Everything else, <laughs> how the well one he was an alien experiment from space, who right. was who found a ship and kind of drove it into Earth. Um, one of the monsters that made him, what's his name, Gumba, and his like assistant, I guess you can call it, Peakley. They both went to Earth to try to find Stitch and bring. And they him were he was they were tracking his every move. Yeah. But until so, like they, they wanted didn't they want to bring him back to. Yeah, obviously yeah. he was like his. Exp he was one of his first like successful experiments. I mm -hmm. guess you can call it experiment six two six. Yeah. Which, um, if you're thinking about it, six hundred and twenty six experiments to get one successful one. That's at, a bit. Yeah, at that point, stop being a scientist. I mean, one of my favorite parts in that movie is definitely like, uh, what was that man's name that that anatomy uh, met? It was. Like uh, at the beach, you know. Yeah, I'm yeah. Her like her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Yeah. I forget his name. I mean, that was I like that scene a lot. They were like, um, and they were making like sand castles, and they were oh, surfing. Yeah. I can't surf. I would fall off. I can't surf either. I don't think mm -hmm. I'd be. I haven't tried, but I know. I know. I haven't well tried, but I know I'm. I'm not good at balancing stuff, really. I have balance. It just. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I mean, overall, it's a pretty good movie. I would definitely watch it again. Yeah, um, we're going to take a quick break from all this alien talk, but we're going to be right back. Welcome back. Now let's get right back into it. So, Nick, the next uh, part of the franchise is Lilo and Stitch 2. Well, technically not. There's, I think there's a couple of things in between it, like Lilo and Stitch the series, and then a whole bunch of others. Leroy and Stitch, I think one of the movies Leroy? is. Leroy? Yeah, Leroy. He's a different mm. alien. But, um... Anyways, yeah, Lilo and Stitch 2, it's, I don't think it's an, uh, it's not, like, a direct sequel to Lilo and Stitch 1, like I just said, but anyways, it takes place um, a short while after. There's a new um, hula competition, I forgot the name of the dance for a sec, but there's um, mm. a hula competition, and um, Lilo decides she wants to sign up because she realized that her mom, who we know very little about, she, we can assume that... She died? Yeah, we can assume that both her parents are dead. That's mm. why Nami takes care of her. So, yeah, her mom's dead. And her mom was actually a champion when she was Lilo's age. So that's, like, motivation, like, I want to make my mom proud. Let me do this. But that's, like, kind of the A story. When we go over to the B story... Let's just say Stitch, he's not hes not doing very well. He's, like, glitching <laughs> out a lot. And we find out from Goomba that during his, like, while Stitch was being created, he was interrupted midway creating him, and he wasn't fully charged. Mm -hmm. So he's been... Oh, I remember 
remember watching something like this. I think I watched it once. And I vaguely remember. I know he was glitching and he was in like a little thing, so we had to be charged and Layla was like crying and stuff. Something. Shh. Yeah. We get to that part later. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, she um, Stitch kind of like glitches out a lot. He's he's going back to his more primal instincts ha- compared to now where he's all nice and sweet and kind. He becomes like a literal monster. Yeah, like how he was designed to be. Mm-hmm. And um, Goomba's like, if we don't fix him soon, he's going to die. Basically, he's going to die. Oh, poor Stitch. Yeah, so it's this whole story of. Stitch feels like he's not a good person. He's just completely bad. He'll never be able to change. He's he hurts Lilo because they wanted to do that hula together, because it was about friendship and love and how love. Didn't he scratch her? Huh? Didn't he scratch her? Yes, I get to that part. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, like she just said. Um, they get into not an argument. Yeah, a little bit of a fight, and I guess Stitch goes a little bit too far. Kind of scratches her face, and she's like, "Never want to see you again." Da 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 da. This whole thing. Uh, Stitch goes off on his own, and of course, just like all Disney movies, right after that giant fight, Lilo realizes what's going on because of Goomba. So now it's just a giant. Doesn't she like fly in another ship to like get him or something? Yeah, you're kind of like skipping to the parts that I'm gonna get to. Okay, my bad. Yes, it is your bad. Fine, continue. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> continue. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm skipping over it again. They find Stitch. They try to, he steals the giant ship to try to get home so we can, or to, to the most isolated planet in that universe. Planet Pheromone. Planet what? Pheromone. Anyways. Um, they, he tries to get there, but the ship crashes, so Lilo has to take the, um, her little, like, hover car to get to him. They, he try, she tries to put him in the charging machine, but it doesn't mm-hmm. turn on, and it's, like, too late, and then it's a whole sad scene, like, oh no, Stitch is dead, da, 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 da. Of course it's not dead. Yeah, it's... It's a Disney movie. One, it's a Disney movie. Two, uh, Stitch makes them way too much money for them to kill him off. So, mm-hmm. obviously, like the, um, like the hula dance that we talked about at the beginning of the, at the beginning of this segment, it's about love conquering death. So Lilo cries, just like. Pretty much everyone cries, even Nani cries. I think. Like, yeah. Yeah. And just like in Rapunzel, um, a tear drops from Lilo's cheek, falls on Stitch, magically wakes up. Magically wakes up. She has no powers whatsoever, so it doesn't make any really any sense. It makes absolutely no sense. But it's like once that happens, the machine kind of starts charging him again. It's like really weird, but no idea. It works. Disney magic. Whatever. Okay, so that's all we have left for this masterpiece of a franchise. Until next time, and remember, Ohana means family, and family means no one gets left behind. Cut.